Well, it's update time on the new PTL network we've just gone on. We've been on now for, I guess, a little over two weeks, maybe close to three weeks. And let me just tell you something. The first letters that came in from, from the Sacramento area, I was so pleased. We've already had a partner join us from the Sacramento area. And then all around there, the different places, even closer over to San Francisco. Just want to thank you guys for being so faithful to give. And uh, the blessings are that we are now on an area of the country we have just been wanting to be on and seem like the the wet uh, the East Coast has been handled very well. The central part of the country has been handled very well, but I've really had a heart for the, for the West Coast. And that's because of just the great opposition we seem to be having from them toward the gospel or even toward our national pride. And so I just wanted to get the gospel in there because the, the, you know, the ultimate answer to this is not politics. It's the word of God and the power of God. And that's why I'm so pleased to be on there. We're starting to get response from it. And I want to thank you that have been faithful to give. We have about two months in reserve for that network. And I'd like to have some more. I'd like to work at least on a six month basis and even up to a year. So listen, if you're considering giving, would you do so? Listen to your heart, listen to the whole Holy Spirit, but also listen to the cries of people that want the Word of God. We're not just appealing to sinners that are out there. We're appealing to carnal Christians, those who maybe have been out of church for some time, don't know that they're carnal according to the Word of God. But when they begin to find out the Word of God, they understand there's a spiritual side of life that just brings power and brings peace in the midst of all the turmoil that's going on across our country and even around the world. Listen, you were created for such a time as this, not only to minister to your neighbors, but also minister through the giving of the Word of God. Money works 24 hours a day. It never asks for a raise. It never takes a vacation, never takes a day off. When you put finances in the kingdom of God, it will even work after you are gone because souls that have been won or Christians that have been made mature through the word of God continue to make other disciples after themselves. It just goes on and on. I just simply want to ask you, would you listen to your heart, listen to the Holy Spirit, and make a commitment for the next numbers of months and increase your giving even toward the television broadcast. Again, I thank you so much for being honoring this. And on top of that, we have many, many great offers coming our way. And I mean good offers. I mean, not just, just great television networks, but great offers as far as finances are concerned. They really want our broadcast. You know what? You help to make this possible. Thank you so much. So again, I'm going to pray with you. Would you just pray with me right now? Father, ultimately, I don't depend on people. I depend on you. But Father, you still work through people. You give through men. And you give through the women that watch this broadcast. Father, I thank you for every person out there. I thank you for those that run corporations, those that push a broom somewhere, women at home uh, that are making meals for the family or else that are working as a, as a helper somewhere, just whatever it may be. I thank you for it. And so, Father, right now, through the guiding and, and direction and power of the Holy Spirit, I commit this issue even to you, and Father, so do these. I thank you that they hear my heart's cry because we're united together as one in the power of the Holy Spirit. And I give you praise for what we're going to see in the next number of days. Fathers, we anticipate the fact that more people will find you a Savior. More Christians will find you as the one that perfects them and makes them into the disciple you would have for them to be. I give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks a lot.